What's up, everybody? We're the podcast. This is Will. I'm Grease. Will, what do we got today? This is a little segment we like to call, I can't believe I've never bought that. So, I can't believe I've never bought that. What is it? Basically, you walk into a liquor store, you see a bottle that you've seen a hundred times before, but for some reason or another, you never grabbed it, went to the register and paid for it and walked out with it. It's you just never same, got it. It's the same reason, Will, why I always sat up front in my classes. I don't I don't The teachers follow. look over you, they never see you, you can literally do whatever you want. Everybody so else this had is it backwards. The front row of, yes. of high school. So, well no. Of all school. Elementary mainly. Okay. They started figuring it out around high school. So anyhow, you go to the store yeah, purchase something. Right. And this is something I bought today that I can't believe I've never bought. <laughs> that looks like a, I don't know what it looks like. And it is, you ready for the yes. reveal? Yeah, Give yeah, me yeah, a drum yeah, roll. Yeah. <laughs> Pulled it out backwards. Okay. <sighs> Old Medley 12 year. 12, age stated. Age stated. We haven't bought something that's age stated. No, we bought age stated things. I've just never bought this. I've bought I Wathens. I've bought all sorts of other things. I've bought Medley Brothers. But we, we have this really I've cool Eclipse this. bottle that we got that is really special to Will. It's not special to me. So I'm just like, I just have it here. It's just kind of like a thing. But like they they make, they make like cool single yeah, barrel it's, stuff. It's from the Medley Charles Medley Distillery. Yeah. So the old Medley Twelve Year. This is Kentucky Straight Bourbon Whiskey. It is sour mash whiskey. It says it's eighty six point eight proof. So it's a lower proof, but it's from the Charles Medley Distillery in Owensboro, Kentucky. Um, I can't believe I've never bought it. I have seen this uh, many times. Uh, I've had Wathens a lot of times. There was that bearded dram pick of Wathens that our buddy Dan Blair did that was really good. Yeah, I had um, that guy from the from the um, from the reindeer movie, Santa Claus. No, the what the one that the one that it's like the claymation, but it's not claymation or is it, is it claymation? Are you serious right now? You're and you have you've got strong hands, so it's hard to get into. <laughs> yeah. Starting off there. <laughs> I, I can't say what I was gonna say. Oh, good cork pop. That was a good cork pop. That was a good that was a good cork pop. You pop that cork. Yours still has some gold schlager just in don't it from worry about just don't worry about it. Previous from videos. The last, from the last video. <laughs> it's disgusting. She washes those glasses, Grease. All right. It smells great on the nose, Will. It actually does smell really good. I get a lot of it cherry. I got some um Oh yeah, cherry. Cherry, vanilla, oak, some good little notes in there. Some good quarter notes, half notes. Blue notes. That's a different bottle. I really like the nose on it. Mm. I, I could sit here and... Which bearded dram, you know he's a nose guy. Right. He's into nose. I want you to taste that. I know that I'm, I'm not tasting to. a young whiskey. Mm. As a matter this of fact, feels it's 12 years old. malty. Well, it's because it's the, a high malt, right? Yeah, it's, it's got to be. The, the mash bill of the Wathens and, and Medley Distillery is a proprietary higher malt. So it has um, typically the flavoring grain, which is either rye or wheat or whatever, is not the malted barley or the corn in bourbon, is the d second dominant grain. That's why it's called a secondary grain. In this one, actually, there is more malt malted barley in it than the flavoring grain, which would be rye in this case. Uh, so it is an interesting kind of twist on mash bills. Um, and, and you typically mistake, in, it's interesting. You normally say it's something tastes malty when it's young, yeah. but you're saying you're... I know it's not young, so right. there's, some, there's some method to the madness in my head because I got a, a lot of malt on it. Honestly... It's got a really good finish for 86 something or other proof. The cherry on the nose, I feel like carries over. I get that. I feel like the finish is long. The The palette is a little bit understated. And I think that a lot has to do with the 86 proof. But I am, it, it definitely is not over oaked. Like I'm not getting crazy, tannic, bitter, oaky notes. Right. I get a 
what I think is a pretty well developed whiskey that's cut down by water, obviously significantly. Um, There's a lot of flavor yeah. on this bottle. There's a ton of flavor in it. For it to be 86.8 proof, one, there's a lot of flavor, which is kind of crazy. Two, it it I don't know if it's because it's a fresh crack, but it seems astringent. And we've had some pours earlier that are higher proof. I'm I it it holds up. I would probably this is not my flavor profile that I want. I would probably use this for cocktails. How much did you pay for this? You would not use that for cocktails. I probably It's not would. gonna stand up in a cocktail because it's lower proof. It's gonna be dominated by the other things. Well, unless you go four to one. Then you're not making a solid cocktail. You're just making a game day mix. And you didn't say it was for tailgating. So I don't know um, if you know how to make every cocktail's drinks. for tailgating. How much do you pay for this? It's sixty four ninety nine is what uh it rung up as. Mm -hmm. Right, so I, would a hard pass. I, I would not pay. No, I will. I'm not a hard pass. I'm just a pass, but I would not make cocktails out of a $65. Right, right. That's why I was saying you. Well, I didn't know that. that information, Will. I actually told you before we started. It's fine. You don't listen. I know you said I yeah, need okay. to take a picture of the receipt. Um, It's, I mean, it's age stated 12 years old. That's rare these days for something that's going to be on a yeah. shelf. I feel like it's not necessary. I feel like that's kind of a. A old price point, right? For a 12 year age stated, 65 bucks. I think that's kind of like the price point that it should have been. Like, that's kind of a little bit of a premium product of the day. I feel like they haven't adjusted that pricing. That's where it sat. And because that was kind of a higher dollar bottle years ago, there weren't a ton of age stated things up in 12 years that you could just get. So I feel like that was maybe appropriate then. There's a lot of things out there now, though. I don't know if I want to buy that. I think it's appropriately priced in the way the market is currently. Yeah. However, this is 12 year old age stated, barrel proof, Heaven Hill, $59.99 retail. It I'm would, pretty sure it's more than $59.99. $64.99 retail. I don't know. It's close. It's very close. That's fair. Very yeah, close to fair. this. So if if these were sitting next to the shelf together, I would go to this. However, I'll push back on that though because this these, is readily available. These are limited releases. These are not. Heaven Hill normally is is underpriced for what it is on their on their staple stuff that everybody really likes. I'm torn on on the old medley. I really am. I I think it's actually better than I was expecting for the proof. Um there's a lot of flavor for it being low proof. There's a, and it kind of reminds me in that way of like the Evan Williams 1783. It's like the proof fools you because it, it's it's better than the proof would typically. Like it, it's kind of an outlier in the proof game, but it's still sixty five dollars yeah. for an eighty six proof bourbon. I'm not normally gonna it's, spend. It's kind of like it. a Hancock's area. You know what I mean? Man, like, Hancock's isn't that expensive. Yeah. So I wish it were like 10 proof higher. If it was like mid 90s, I think it's a buy. I'm going to throw a complete wrench in the whole system. I love wrenches. A, this is so perfectly proofed because there, I, I, I love the flavor. I love the palette. I love the finish. I was not expecting you to say any of that. I know. It's just not my notes that I like. That's fair. But the the flavor on the front, middle, back, the whole experience, I would not change. I honestly, I wouldn't change a thing about it because it is diverse. Yeah. In the in the whole market, some people are going to freaking love this. Some people are probably going to be mad if a lot of people start buying it up and and whatever because it is age stated. Um, mm -hmm. It's. It's a nice port. It just doesn't. It doesn't. It doesn't check all the boxes for me, which I prefer in love. But. Buy bar or pass on it. I'm a bar. I'm gonna go right out and say it. I'm a bar. You probably can find it at bars too. Yeah. Um, so I, I think it's actually when we say bar, you can legitimately try this. I agree with you. I know people in my head right now that I know will love this and that it's a buy for. Mm -hmm. I know people in my head. I don't think there's anyone that would be like, this is garbage. Like, I think it's no. well crafted. I think it tastes good. But I do think there are people that would say, like, I wish I'd bought something else for $65. Even non-age dated yeah. whiskey that is younger but has higher proof, things like that. So I think that's why it's a bar because 
it could throw people off with the proof. But if you like a, a balanced, dare I say, delicate bourbon that has maturity to it, I think you're going to like this. So I'm a bar for the masses. But if that sounds like something you'd like, you may want to pick one up. I think this is a great gift option. Oh, Especially for someone that sixty five dollars is super is a into bourbon. Sweet, yeah, yeah. It, well, it checks some boxes for people. Right. One, it's low proof, so a lot. It's gonna. It's approachable. Yeah. Twelve years old. It's age stated. So if it's someone you know that's well versed in whiskey, they're like, oh man, heck yeah, dude. Twelve year old whiskey. I freaking love that. And three, they might not have had this before. Right. Like it's right. it's not talked about a ton. So. Um, those are three big boxes. The price point is good for a gift, that $50 to $65 yeah. range. Booker's used to be close to this price point back in the day. It's gone up. That used to be our go-to gift bottle. Now it's kind of like a, a more of a splurge. Well, and, and, and you can the other find thing it. with that, too. Like, Booker's being over 100 bucks now in many places. Something like this, Booker's is also, because it's so high proof, if, if it's someone that enjoys some whiskey but has definitely not dabbled in proof things like that something like this is going to be a better option because they can they, maybe they're going to drink it uh with a, a sphere ice cube in it you know like yeah. maybe they're going to do something and they they enjoy bourbon but they're not really versed in it i like what you're saying so buy bar pass for you you're buy it as a gift. I'm buy it as a <laughs> gift, which is going to lean me towards my palate on a bar. Yeah. However, I do think P. I think everybody should go and buy a bottle of this and just try it. So I, you're, I, you're a bar that says buy everyone buy it. I think I here's the I if you like maltier notes, this is a hundred percent a buy. Or if you like cherry notes as well. Cherry notes. Yes, yeah, it's got some cherry in it. All right, folks. Thank you so much for watching. Grease was a bar, but he told everyone to go buy it. I was just a bar for this. Uh, hope you enjoyed it. Go ahead and subscribe. Thumbs up. Ring the bell. Patreon.com slash the podcast. It's right down there. Support, Support us. Support us. We appreciate y'all. And that's going to do it. We'll talk to you next time. Love you, man.